Hey guys, welcome back to PTV Reviews, and today I am here to share with you the breakdown of Season 2 of Outer Banks and my thoughts on the brand new season. So we see Episode 1 starts off with John B's friends having a reunion at the tree because they think John B and Sarah Cameron are dead. However, after watching Season 2, we all know that isn't the case and that they are very much alive. Then it cuts to the friends in the classroom getting a text from John B saying that he is alive and that he is in the Bahamas and now the clip skips to John B and Sarah in the Bahamas. Now obviously we all know the goal of the season was to get the gold but then it took a turnaround after it had been taken from them and the twist of them being on the hunt for the gold now they are on the hunt for the cross which was on the royal merchant as well so I can see why they are on the hunt for the cross because it also is worth a lot of money and it Denmark Tanny is revealed that he is related to Pope through his great-great-grandparents' generation. Now, someone else is after this cross, being the new character, Limbray. What is better than that? There are a lot of rumors going around that Limbray is either John B. or Sarah Cameron's mom. I definitely think she is one of their moms, however. In season one, John B. shows a picture of his mom and dad together in a picture frame. So, does John B. have a mom, or can that be another lady that John B's dad called the mom. However, he also showed another picture in a frame of his grandfather with the last name being Charles Limbray, both sharing the last name Limbray. So that part is a little confusing to me because I am not sure if the new character Limbray is related to John B because of the sharing of the last name. Sometime soon I am going to discuss on a live stream all the theories and the rumors going on. Now fast forward into the season, Sarah's dad Ward quote unquote dies and we see John B just standing there while Sarah drops down to the floor with her ex-boyfriend Topper there to catch her and rescue her. John B is just clearly staring at Sarah here, but look, I can understand why John B was in a shock and did not do anything. After all, Ward did kill John B's father, but Sarah is was still his girlfriend at the time and at the end of the day, it is also her father too that died, so like she said later on in the season that out of all people she would just hope that John B would understand. We all see a little reunion with JJ and his dad and it just shows how JJ has a big heart giving his dad the money and bringing him to where he needs to go. In this video I am not going to break down the characters point of views because I do have a special live podcast coming up and there is certain information I do want to save. I will let you guys know the date of that very very soon. Now in the very end of the season we will see Limbray with John B's dad. Fans are saying it is a flashback since Sheriff Peterkin did find the glasses of John B's dad that he did have on during that scene so I can definitely see why that is a flashback but hey he could have went and got new glasses too. People are also saying Limbray looked younger in that scene also intending that it could be very much a flashback. We don't know but Obviously, this was done on purpose, so we could keep talking about it. And the creator's showing us that there definitely is going to be a season 3 if Netflix does renew Outer Banks. However, it is confirmed that there definitely is some connection between Limbray and John B's dad, whether that being a flashback or present time, because again, the last name Limbray is shared between John B's grandpa and this new character. Overall, my thoughts on the season are just amazing, and it definitely blew season 1 away. You cannot even compare. I love how there is a new character, Cleo, who is on the poke side and did rescue them from the ship. I love how they brought her in in the beginning and brought her in in the end. That character just brought a lot of joy to the show. I can definitely see her being a poke on season 3. Clearly, the creators are prolonging the show by changing the goal of finding the gold to finding the cross. I can understand why they did that because the cross was also on the Royal Merchant, like I said before, and it is on the same island that they are on. However, the gold was also very important to John B, and it seems like the gold was just not talked about again and kind of forgotten. So that's really only the one critique that I had during what I had when watching season two. But obviously, season three, they're going to go on the hunt for the gold again. But overall, season two was just amazing, and I cannot wait to see what it is in store for season three. But stay tuned for my live podcast I have in the works with a special guest who is also a very huge fan of the show. Thank you guys so much for watching PTV Reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on PTV Reviews.